Hi everyone and welcome to another Korean lesson from Korean Studio. My name is Kim gi -hwan. Today we're going to learn how to use the structure unji to talk about how much time has passed since an earlier action or activity. Now at the end of today's lesson there's a little uh, sort of like a quiz test um, to test your knowledge of what you learn in today's lesson. So do watch the video until the very end. Now, one important fact to know about Korean uh, verb structure is that in Korean, we don't have a verb structure that functions like a present perfect tense. Uh, but using unji helps to create a similar meaning to a present perfect tense. And unji is similar in meaning to the prepositions for and since uh, when we use the present perfect tense. Now, to use unji, we basically add unji to the first clause. And if you're wondering what a clause is, a clause is a group of words containing a verb. So in a sentence using unji, there are two clauses. The first clause describes an action from an earlier time. And after unji, we have the second clause. And the second clause indicates how much time has passed since an earlier action. Okay, so with that in mind, let's now take a look at two example sentences and we'll talk more about the structure and the meaning of these sentences. 저는 점심 먹은 지 2시간이 됐어요. It's been 2 hours since I had lunch. 저는 점심 먹은 지 2시간이 됐어요. 저는 이 회사에서 일한 지두달 됐어요. I've been working at this company for 2 months. 저는 이 회사에서 일한 지두달 됐어요. First, when we add unji to verbs, it all depends on whether the verb stem ends in pachim or not. First, if a verb stem ends in pachim, we add unji to the verb stem. And mokda ends in pachim, so it becomes mogunji. However, if a verb stem doesn't end in pachim, we add niunji. So irada doesn't end in pachim, so it becomes iranji. Now, just like many other structures that we add to verbs, uh, there are also irregular patterns to adding unji to verbs. So we've created a table uh, where we have listed all these irregular patterns um, and you can access this table by clicking on the link in the description below. So do check that table out for a comprehensive uh, list of different ways of adding unji to verb stems. Let's now consider the meaning of how unji is used in these sentences. Now, although in general we use unji to indicate how much time has passed since an earlier action, the nuance of these sentences is a little different. In the first sentence, the earlier action is 저는 점심 먹다, 저는 점심 먹어요, I had lunch. And 두 시간이 됐어요, it's been two hours, indicates how much time has passed since I had lunch. However, in the second sentence, the meaning is a little different. First, we have 저는 이 회사에서 일하다. 저는 이 회사에서 일해요, meaning I work at this company. And then we have 두달 됐어요, meaning it's been two months. But in this sentence, 은지 isn't used just to say how much time has passed since an earlier action. It's actually used to say that an earlier action has continued to the present for a certain amount of time. So do keep in mind that unji can be used to indicate how much time has passed since an earlier action and also the length of time a past action has continued from the past to the present. Now, one other thing to note with the structure is that when we indicate how much time has passed, we always use the subject particles e or ka, but they are often omitted, just like in this second example sentence. Now, when we talk about how much time has passed in the second clause, we commonly use the verb 되다, which means to become. So 두달 됐어요 or 두 달이 됐어요 means it's been two months. However, as well as 되다, we can also use other certain verbs in the second clause. Here are some example sentences. 저는 한국에 산지 두달 넘었어요. I've lived in Korea for more than two months. 저는 한국에 산지 두달 넘었어요. 저는 한국어 공부한 지 1년이 지났어요. I have been studying Korean for a year. 저는 한국어 공부한 지 1년이 지났어요. 저는 술을 끊은 지 오래됐어요. It's been a long time since I quit drinking. 저는 술을 끊은 지 오래됐어요.
So in the first two sentences, we're describing for how long I have lived in Korea and for how long I have been studying Korean. So we're talking about continued state or action from the past to the present. And in the third sentence, we're describing how long it has been since I quit drinking. So how much time has passed since an earlier action. And in these sentences, instead of using the verb 되다, we've used different verbs. The first verb is 넘다, and 넘다 means to go beyond, to exceed. And we use 넘다 to say it's been more than this much time. The second verb is 지나다, and this means for time to pass. So we use 지나다 to say how much time has passed. So the use of 지나다 is actually quite similar to 되다. Lastly, we have the verb phrase 오래되다, meaning to have been a long time. So instead of specifying how much time it's been, we can just say 오래됐어요 to say it's been a long time. So after 은지, we can use the verbs 되다, 넘다, 지나다, and 오래되다 to say how much time has passed or for how long an action has continued from the past to the present. Okay, so I hope this has given you a better understanding of how to use 은지. And at the end of the lesson, there will be a slide with three incomplete sentences. And to test your knowledge, I'd like you to complete the sentences with your own information about how long it has been since an earlier action. And if you like, you can write your sentences in the comments below and I will provide you with some feedback. That's for today. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you soon again. Bye-bye.